You keep that synth freak at arm's length. You understand? Can't believe me? you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout, and that's the booze. No one knew Earl better than these folks. Just a ask minute, around, see what I am in know. middle of story. So then, I am crossing rib, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A mire lurk! A mire lurk? Come on! That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. Redeem! <sighs> I forgot you were there, Yafin. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. You there. We need to have a conversation. Excuse me. See this bar? I killed- Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about it. Now, let me pour you a drink. Come on. Well, hey there. Long time. Hey, you're that vault dweller. I'll start in here. Why don't you check out the living room? Must be a receipt from the mega surgery center, huh? Well, I wonder what the good doctors have to say about that. Heard you're responsible for that new coat of green on the wall. Looks nice. Doctor? A new patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. Tell me your symptoms. Uh, never mind. We're done. Very well, then. Doc. This better be an emergency. Do you know anything about this receipt? Let me see. Hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane. Low-risk cosmetic work. Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. Now, let's get back to talking about your medical needs. Where is Doc Crocker? Last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Anyway, we should get back to your immediate medical requirements. I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? Uh, you know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. And... I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? In our basement? The only thing you'll find down there is cold stone and medical waste. So unless you have something pressing, I have other matters to attend to. Could a hundred caps change your mind? A hundred caps? To visit our basement? Well, I guess there wouldn't be any harm. All right. Here, the key. Just don't touch anything down there, understand? Where'd all this blood come from? It goes right into the basement. Oh, Earl. You've... You've really been a handful, you know. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. 
Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. Take it easy, Doc. Let's talk about Earl. I didn't mean to do it. You have to believe me. Doc Crocker is a brilliant surgeon. No one dies under his care. No one dies. They just walk away happy. Happy with my work. Happy with their new face. Not screaming. Not bleeding out onto the floor. Earl, he... He just didn't want to be happy. That must have been it. You made a mistake. But you can still do the right thing, Doctor. Just think this through. Drop the weapon, Doc. Haven't enough people suffered today? You're... You're right. There's one thing I can do. Only one thing is going to make this all better. I can fix... anything. What's going on here? Is... Is that Dr. Crocker? I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? You owe me an explanation, Doctor. Your partner was cutting Earl Sterling up into little pieces. Cutting him up into... why would he? Oh, wait. The facial reconstruction surgery. If he really did go through with it, and it went badly, Dr. Crocker was willing to go that far to protect his reputation? Well, it's over. That's that. It's over? The most well-respected surgeon in Diamond City is dead, his patient is in pieces, and all you have to say is, it's over? Yes. I guess it is. Huh. You should go. I have a report to file with security and... and a mess to clean up. Can't blame ourselves. The man decided to die. Ready for that new case? Tell me more. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. Uh -huh. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Right. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you... Ready for that new case? I'm a little busy right now, Ellie. Oh, all right. But don't leave it for two. Ellie? Ready for that new case? Tell me more. Our client is a fisherman. Nakano. Maybe if you bother... Can't do that. Huh. Mr. Nakano did. But if you want my guess... I'll go check it out. Thanks. The Nakano rest... It's a long... Ms. Perkins. So... You two find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the Doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. Crocker killed himself. He couldn't take the guilt. Goodness. I'm sorry you two had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout in know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. Be careful when you head over to the Nakano residence. That whole area is pretty isolated. 